Hello people, this is Jason of Gaming Shocks, and here's my Wii. Just take a nice, long look at my Wii. I know it's not plugged in, but still. So yeah, um, well we're not going to be staring at it, I'm going to be doing a collection video, because look at the title. <laughs> Alright, so anyways, so this is my Wii that I've had since, okay, since 2010, that I got for a Christmas gift for my entire family, so I got Three Wii remotes, and this is the white Wii with the GameCube support. And even though I didn't use this for GameCube support. And now I don't use it anymore because this Wii there doesn't read the discs all too well. So anyways, where's that collection, Jason? Come on, I want to see the collection. Well, behold! Here are all my Wii games. I have, oh my god, I'm about to fall over. I have 92 Wii games in my collection. Right, and it's the Wii is my second biggest collection that I have right now, behind the original Xbox. Alright, enough stalling. So now, let's start. And now, let's begin. So, for my Wii games, um, I have a, a mixture of both AAA games and shovelware. Main reason for that was because, well, there's a few reasons. One, some of these games I grew up with. Two, um, I didn't really know a lot of a lot about. Like, what were the best games on the Wii? And three, I was kind of curious about some games, if they were crap or not. If they were shovelware. Alright, anyways, let's start. So, first one is Wii Sports. Of course, I gotta start with Wii Sports, because if I started with with anything else, I don't know. I don't know where it would go. Wii Sports, um, I don't think I need to say anything about Wii Sports. It's, this game is just awesome. What, what the, probably one of the best sports games you might ever play. I mean, it's not amazing by any means, but it's great. All right, and then I got um, Wii Fit. I'm just going to get through all the Wii blank stuff first. So Wii Fit, I just got the set of savers for 4 bucks, And I haven't played it yet because it's got the, ba cause of the balance board. And speaking of Wii Fit, I also found the, the big box for Wii Fit at a uh, flea market for 5 bucks. It just had the balance board in here. It didn't have the... Um, the the game in it for some reason but i think that is fine because maybe one of these days i'll try out um we fit to see how it is and then i got another copy of Wii sports that i got from my friend aaron fazbear and it's just a nintendo selects copy of Wii sports nothing else to say about that and then i got Wii play and i don't know it's Wii play there's a lot more mini games in this compared to Wii Sports, that's for sure, but I don't know. There's something about Wii Sports that just feels way better. I mean, I don't know, because I've only played this game once, but I want to try it again because it actually doesn't look that bad of a game. <laughs> Alright, and then we got Family Party 30 Great Games Winter Fun and Family Party 30 Great Games. Okay, first off, let's get this out of the way. Not all the games in this are great. Because why would they be? Look at them. They're shovelware. But yet, just for me, they're kind of guilty pleasures because they're not great by any means. But like playing with the family, like because I played both these with my family, and this was actually one of my first games on the that I got with my Wii on Christmas. So I don't know. It's just something about it that I just really liked about both of those games for whatever reason. And next is Game Party. <laughs> Again, another game that I got with my Wii. Yeah, I got a lot of games with my Wii. <laughs> Why did I even do that? Anyways, Game Party, uh, it's meh. It's not great by any means. I really only played this, <laughs> only played the darts in this game because really nothing else would like work as well as I wanted to. But I wouldn't say it's one of the worst games on the Wii, but it's not great by any means. All right, and next, if I can get it out, is SSX Blur. Now, if you've seen some of my other video uh, collection videos, I love the SSX games. I, they're one of my favorite sports games ever. And Blur is easily the weakest out of all the SSX games. I mean, it's not bad by any means, but just the motion controls just feel really off in this game. And I don't know, there's just something about it that I don't like. That, that, it's not clicking with me. Alright, next is um, Chicken Blaster, which is in a GameStop case. 
And I remember getting this game from Best Buy, actually, like, for five dollars. And coincidentally, I got it like that for five bucks. For five bucks. So with when I got it at Best Buy years ago, it was in it was in one of those big boxes. Like, hey, you can get a plastic accessory with this game, and that's what it did. It came with this big orange plastic sh uh, shotgun because it's um, a rail shooter where you just shoot at chickens. <laughs> yeah, it's just as dumb as it sounds, but for some reason. Oh wow, I already broke it. Okay, so, yeah, it came with this plastic shotgun that you just put your Wii Remote in here and the nunchuck in here. It's basically like the, any, the um, Wii Zapper, but way bigger. And the game was actually pretty, pretty fun from what I remember, but I just remember it being, like, stupidly short. Like, only, only eight levels. Alright, next I got some golf games. Just, I'll just put these together since they're golf games. I got Super Swing Golf and Carnival Games Mini Golf. Now, if you know me, I am a sucker for a mini golf. I will pick up a any mini golf game I could find, what, whether I'm looking it up on a browser or even on, on games like this, because I, I like golf. And Super Swing Golf, the I think the old, I think you know why a lot of people would get this game nowadays. Okay, all joking aside, the game is fine. It's just Wii Sports Golf. With green disc because of course. And that's all I got for that. It's just their average golf game. And then Carnival Games Mini Golf. Um, I, th I wish this was better because I don't like the controls in this game. They feel really inaccurate. And because it's mini golf, it's like a necessity for any golf game. So I wish that game was better, but... Mm, come on, game. All right, the next is when we move the shotgun. Oh, uh, we got Skylander Spyro's Adventure, Skylander's Giants, Skylander Swap Force, Skylander's Trap Team, and Skylander Superchargers Racing. Yep, I have every single Skylander's game under the sun on the Wii. Why? Because, well, like. If a few years ago, I was really into Skylanders. Um, I got Spyro's Adventure on a random uh, trip to Toys R Us in, I think, 2011. And that it just piqued my interest. Because I remember seeing com the commercials and it's like, ooh, that looks really interesting. Uh, and then I got Giants. for um, Giants was a birthday gift. Uh, Swap Force was also a birthday gift. Trap Team was a Christmas gift. And Superchargers Racing was a pickup that I got at... Um, my local used game store, Core Gaming. And I really like the Skylanders games. I know a lot of people like crap on them for the Toys to Life stuff. I mean, I get it. I get why people don't like the Toys to Life gimmick. Because, oh my god, you have to spend like, all this money on, on toys. But if you're someone like me who likes collecting stuff, then it shouldn't really be a problem. Hold on, let me fix this. Let's take a look at Bowser real quick. <laughs> And next is uh, Summer Sports Paradise Island. Another shovelware game. Yeah, <laughs> you can see I have a lot of shovelware. But anyways, uh, this game, I don't remember exactly where this game came from. I think my parents got it sometime, what, 2011 or 12? I don't know. But I remember my family would always play this game because of the lawn darts. They really like the lawn darts in this game. And I did, I mean, we all did. And... I remember the mini golf, the mini golf in this in that game. I mean, the controls were still still not great, but they were better than Carnival Games Mini Golf. That's for sure. I mean, I'll I'll go back to Carnival Games Mini Golf maybe to see if my opinion is wrong. All right, next is Ghostbusters, the video game, a game that is better than its successor, the 2016 Ghostbusters, because I heard that sucked. The big one. But anyways, Ghostbusters the video game, from what I can gather was, this game was supposed to be, has the script of the, th of the, the unreleased Ghostbusters 3, and they actually got all the, um, the actors from the original movie to, to voice everyone. So you got D Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, and Hal Harold Ramis, rest in peace Harold Ram uh, Harold Ramis. But I remember that, um, I haven't played that game yet. I want to, because I've heard that's a really good game. Alright, that next is a bunch of Lego games. So first one is the Lego, uh, the Lego, Lego Lord of the Rings, 
And this is a Lego game with the open world stuff and the plot of all three of the Lord of the Rings movies. Just all wrapped into one disc. And I remember this one being good. I mean, <laughs> it's kind of a pain to get everything in this game because that's how it is in all of the Lego games. But it's fun. If you and the, um, if you're wondering about like the cutscenes, it um, the cutscenes take the audio from the movie, so like you're not getting like any of the like voice acting stuff like from other celebrities. If you like that, that's fine. All right, next we got Lego Batman, the video game. And Lego Batman 2, DC Super Heroes. Now, I remember, now, Lego Batman was my first Lego game, and another game that came with my Wii. And then, Batman 2, we later got down the line. I remember my brother really loved this game, because he loved the open world stuff in this game. And honestly, I don't blame him, because who doesn't love exploring a big open world? Even in the Lego games, it's still fun. I don't know, but some, for some reason, I like this one more, because, I don't know, simpler is better. I don't know. I mean, everyone has their own opinion on the Lego games, but that's those ones aren't my favorite. Uh, this one's one of my favorites, though. Lego Pirates of the Caribbean, the video game. Great, we can already tell it's a video game. Thanks, game. So, Lego Pirates of the Caribbean takes all the, the plots of all four movies and just, again, puts it on a disc. So, with, um, I remember this one being one of my favorites, but probably because I was starting to get into the Pirates of the Caribbean because I think On Stranger Tides was coming out at the time this game was released, going camera focus. And I remember I liked the On Stranger Tides levels in this game. I mean, my, <laughs> my brother was really into that game as well because he likes to get using the multipliers like in every, all the Lego games. I mean, and again, I don't blame him. And we got Lego Indiana Jones, the original adventures, and Lego Indiana Jones 2, the adventure continues. Now, uh, I'd say, now, actually, these ones are my favorite Lego games. Well, some of them. That and Lego Star Wars and probably some other one I can't think of because there's so many of them. So, Lego Indiana Jones, again, like all the other, like all these other ones, takes the plots of the movies. This one only has um, the first three Indiana Jones movies, and this one has all four of them. This Kingdom of the Crystal Skull is split up into three parts for some reason. And, yeah, I like them... The structure of this one a bit more because of your in, in a little location with all the the locations from the movies, and you just get to explore and just have their have their own short levels, which is what I really liked. Because sometimes the the Lego games, especially now, can have really dragged out levels, and you just want it to end. But I liked how with Lego Indiana Jones two, how the levels are just like five to ten minutes at max. Well, or at most. <clears throat> Alright, hey, we got Lego Harry Potter, years 1 through 4. And this one I just got recently, and I am not that familiar with Harry Potter, so... I don't know. I don't have anything on that one. On that one. And then we got Lego Star Wars, The Complete Saga, and Lego Star Wars 3, Clone Wars. So, Lego Star Wars. I don't think I need to say anything else, because I've already said what I need to say about all the Lego games. So... I've, that's it. I got nothing. All right. Next is another Star Wars game, but it's not Lego. Uh, Star Wars Clone Wars Lightsaber Duels. So this game is a fighting game, obviously being called Lightsaber Duels. Duh. Uh, and you just fight uh, characters from Clone Wars, pretty much. I don't know. That's all I got. All right. The next is Looney Tunes Acme Arsenal. Now this game had potential. It could have been a really good Looney Tunes game, kind of like something like Loons, The Fight for Fame on the original Xbox, which I find really underrated. And this game kind of sucks. The um, big reason is the motion controls. They just don't work at times. I mean, I, I get it, because of, when did this game come out? Come on, camera, focus. There we go. Uh, 2007? So it was like early days, like, oh my god, we need to, we need to let you swing every, every, on everything. And for this game, it really doesn't work. Because the motion controls are really delayed, or unresponsive, or basically anything. I mean, the normal controls are fine if you're just using buttons, but 
you need the Wii Remote to do certain stuff, and it, it kills the game for me. Alright, next is Medal of Honor Vanguard. I don't know. I haven't played this game yet. This is a recent pickup, so I don't know. I'm sure it's like all the other Medal, Medal of Honor games, because I really liked Medal of Honor European Assault on the, ori on the original Xbox. And this scene is kind of looks like European Assault, but I don't know. I want to get into that because I really like some of the Medal of Honor games. Alright, next is MX vs. ATV Untamed. A game I seriously want to get back into from my childhood because I don't remember playing this game a lot in my, in my childhood. And I don't know. Looks fun though because I like ATV or MX racing. Like the MX vs. ATV like, racing. Alright, last one in this first pile, and it is Disney Universe. Now, looking at this cover, what do you think? Come on, come on, fellow viewers. What do you think this game could be? Hmm, Jason, I think that this is a... It looks like a leg... It looks uh, like a 3D platformer where you just... These these little things being Disney characters. Um, no. It's actually it's very similar to the Lego games. Like, you just walk... You just uh, run around in these little environments... Feeding enemies, collecting st collecting stuff, and doing simple puzzles. It's ba it's basically like the Lego games, but without the Lego stuff. It's just with Disney uh, stuff, and it's good. No, actually, it also from the back, it also makes you kind of seem like this is a party game, like Mario Party, but it's not. And I will admit, it's actually it's a really good game. It's like if you like the Lego games, like I do, you'll probably like you might like that. To be honest. Alright, uh, let me actually straighten up this pile real quick. Alrighty, so next pile. Just move it over here to where I am. And right, next is Boom Blocks Bash Party. I don't know if you, if any of you remember the commercial for this game, but I do. Um, so basically this game is basi uh, basically, 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 la, 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 I can't speak. So this game is a mi like a mixture of both Jenga and Angry Birds. You basically um, control control slingshot, and you see you throw animals at like, these structures, and with the power of physics, you have to knock everything over using like using different kinds of blocks, like infected blocks, bombs, bomb blocks, cannonballs, like etc. And this is a great this is a great game. This is this ugh, I can't speak for whatever reason. This is actually one of my favorite games on the Wii. And get it. All right, take a look right here. Even though it's EA, but look right here. Steven Spielberg, one of the greatest director, movie directors ever, designing a video game. And yet, people passed it up. Why, people? Why? I don't know, but but this. Look at this. It's harmless, and it's a it's a great game. I would recommend that to any anyone looking for. Like a really good puzzle game on the Wii. Alright, next is Disney Infinity. I have not played this yet. Because I don't have the figures to even operate it. So, that is going to be in my collection. I'm going to be staying like that until I get the figures. Which shouldn't be that hard to find. Alright, next is AMF Bowling pro uh, Pin Busters. I almost said Pro Busters. Like, how do you bust a pro? You destroy it, obviously. Alright, so AMF Bowling Pro Busters is basically like your generic bowling game. And it's basically like Wii Sports, but it doesn't control as well as Wii Sports at all. Because these guys right here, Mud Duck, if you can see right there, camera can focus, has Zenimax. So that means Bethesda had something to do with this game, even though they didn't publish it. But still, see? Zenimax. Zenimax, my guy. And it's, it, I wouldn't say it sucks, but... It's pretty generic. All right, next is Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz. So this, so I think this game is supposed to be a, a mini game collection of a bunch of um, stuff in Super Monkey Ball. I don't know. I haven't played it yet, and I really like the first Super Monkey Ball on the GameCube. So maybe it'll be like that. I'm not completely sure. All right, next is Deca Sports Two, and this game. Doesn't work for me. I don't know. Let me just take out the disc just to even show you. It may not look that bad, but it it crashed for me. So I just took the sign of, uh, it doesn't work. Can I get the game back in, please? Come on. 
Please, there we go. So that doesn't work. So this game doesn't work, and I might find an, a new copy someday. All right, next is Balloon Pop. All right, funny story. Funny story about this game. Um, the first time I played this game, I seriously got into it for an hour. I got to round one hundred and twelve, I think, and then I just stopped. So but this game, if you could tell by the the cover, it's a puzzle game. It's basically it's basically a match three puzzle game where you move balloons around to stop. What is it? I can't remember what it what it was. Oh, like the infamous balloon bandit. Ooh. Yeah, it's it's an okay puzzle game. It's it's harmless. It's fine. I but I remember get really getting into it for an hour and then stopping. All right, next is a couple Sonic games, and I have a few Sonic games for the Wii, but I, um, these are like, like go together. So I got Sonic and the Secret Rings, and Sonic and the Black Knight. Okay, so let's start with um Secret Rings first. Um. Honestly, uh, to be honest, guys, I know people hate this game, but really, I like it. it. The controls are actually not as unresponsive as I thought they were going to be. Controls are actually pretty okay. I mean, I know you have to hold it sideways, and the controls are kind of feel kind of inaccurate, but it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not a bad Sonic game. I wouldn't say, it's not amazing by any means, but I really don't understand the hate. The overwhelming hatred that this game gets compared to other games in the series, but Secret Rings is not is not bad by any means. I mean, it has it has its problems, like um, like some control issues, but it's but not like some of the the severe ones that I've that I've come to, that I noticed online. All right, and then Black Knight. This game is way better than Secret Rings, and and yeah, another game I got with my Wii in 2010. So, Sonic and the Black Knight, you're Sonic, and you got the sword, and you got a glove, and you're going against this guy, who, you know who this guy is? This guy is King Arthur, and the Sonic storybook series that unfortunately never happened after this game, because, I think, but no, because of their Metacritic scores, and honestly, I, this, this game is far better than Secret Rings, because, um, the nunchuck, because you can use the nunchuck, and it just feels a lot better to play with the sword than than just running around at the speed of sound. No, but I kind of wish that the storybook series actually was a thing because there would have been some cool some cool ideas for other games of this of that potential series that unfortunately were never real. That unfortunately never came to be, which is a real shame. All right, next. Pac-Man Party! So, it's a Pac-Man Party game. Duh! But, um, Pac-Man Party is... Ba is uh, it, it plays like... So, if you're wondering how this game plays, it plays sort of, sort of like Monopoly, where you where you go around um, by, uh, getting castles and battling for castles to, um, and some mini-games. And... That's from what I saw online. I haven't played the game myself because I haven't gotten any friends to play the game with me. Wait, hold on. Okay, sorry about that. Interruptions, if you know my channel very well. But Pac-Man Party, um, I'd say this is a pretty good... Well, I haven't played it yet, but... From what I saw online, it looked re really fun. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Next is our star It's Rockstar! Uh, Rockstar... Rockstar Games presents Table Tennis, and it's Table Tennis, just made by Rockstar. Ooh, whoa. I thought Rockstar only does M-rated Grand Theft Auto gangster edginess. No, apparently Rockstar can also do a Table Tennis game on a Nintendo console. Huh? Well, um, from what I can get, I only played this game once, just to try it out because I was... Really curious about it, like, what is this? Like, Rockstar doing something casual, like with an E rating, because this is one of Rockstar's only games that's rated E. And but what I played, it's pretty good. It's just table tennis, and you just do stuff with table tennis. Not bad. It's it's not bad to be honest. I mean, it's Rockstar, so it kind of has that Rockstar quality to it, but it doesn't have 
the rock star edginess like um in something like Grand Theft Auto. Uh, another <laughs> tennis game, but it's not ping pong. It's Sega Superstars Tennis. So this is basically, uh, I mean, <laughs> basically Sega's answer to I guess Mario Tennis or Wii Sports. I don't know. It's <laughs> probably those games, but you got Sega characters. So you got Sonic. You got I I from Super Monkey Ball. Ooh la la from Space Channel Five. Eggman. Uh, Samba de Amigo from Samba de Amigo. <laughs> Duh. Where else would he be from? Oh, we got Car the what's his name from Jet Set Radio and uh, Knights. And yeah, it's just a bunch of Sega characters. And you know what else is really interesting? This game has mild blood. Why? I don't know. But um, I want to again. I'm, I'm, I know that this is starting to get um kind of like redundant of me saying uh, I haven't played this game, but I. I I want to get into all these a lot of these games because a lot of them are really good. All right, next is Battalion Wars 2, which is a um third person shooter with um it's a third person squad based shooter, kind of like Ghost Recon, but it's way easier to understand compared to Ghost Recon because you basically you're like these little soldiers and you're just going around and shooting <laughs> everything in sight, but the controls are way e easier to understand. It's way easy, way more simpler to understand compared to Ghost Recon. I mean, it's Nintendo, so it pro that's probably why. But um, it's really good. I haven't played the original Battalion Wars, which I think is on the GameCube, but I say this is one of the best third-person shooters on the Wii. And next, and next, speaking of Ghost Recon, I got Ghost Recon 2010. And yes, it did come out in 2010. But Ghost Recon, unlike the other Ghost Recon games where I cannot get past the first mission to save my life, um, this game is much different than those. This game is a rail shooter where you have a partner and you just go around, be, <laughs> going to cover to cover, shooting, shooting, guy, shooting faceless cannon fodder soldiers, and then you move on. It's... I'd say it's my favorite Ghost Recon game. I'm sure many people will say, No! Nuh-uh! I like the strike-based tactic shooter stuff of the original Ghost Recons. That is that is how people are on the internet. But I like it. But, again, I like that game. Really good rail shooter. And then next is Army Men, Soldiers of Misfortune. Which is a game I actually have on the DS and... I remember liking it on the DS. Uh, the Wii version is meh. <laughs> it's meh because, bro, because one of the problems is the is your character Timmy right here moves way, way too slow. Like he's basically like that's how he is for the entire game. You can't, you can't, you can't speed up. You can't do any. You can't do anything. The in like accelerate or anything but uh, but that's a really big problem with the game i mean i like them um, it's 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 a pretty okay third person shooter <laughs> besides besides the walking problem the game is okay it's way better on ds ds that's for sure all right next is kowalski jet ski then that sound fun right kowalski jet ski just saying that just kowalski Anyways, Kowalski Jet Ski is a racing game with jet skis by Kowalski. But um, I remember like I like this, this game. It's probably the only game you'll ever see by Data Design Interactive that's actually good for once in their in their their whole existence. But I remember liking this game. And it, I mean, it doesn't have a lot of content in it, which is really the only problem with it. But controls are actually really good, really fine. Really solid in that game, and it's just a really fun racing game in general. And then we didn't go from a decent racing game to the big boys. We got Mario Kart Wii, baby! Oh my God, Mario Kart Wii. So um, I really don't have a lot of experience with Mario Kart Wii. Um, I mean, I like the game, but I'm so familiar with like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe that uh, I'm not even that familiar with Mario Kart Wii. You know what? Even though, I'm, even though I'm gonna be showing a game later that I have this 
really weird steering wheel peripheral that I use. Not with Mario Kart. Actually, I think I did use this with Mario Kart Wii. But, <laughs> let me look at this thing. I mean, it's really stiff now. But, it has these suction cups on it. But, I remember this. I remember liking you using that thing. But, Mario Kart Wii is... It's Mario Kart. I don't need to say anything about Mario Kart. And, the motion controls are, like, excellent for this game. I mean, that should be standard coming from a Nintendo game. But, still... Mario Kart Wii. Excellent game. Alright, next is Mario Party 8. And Mario Party 9. Alright, alright. Mario Party fans pass... Like, the, like, oh my god, I, nothing, no Mario Parties are better than the Nintendo 64 ones. <sighs> alright, get alright. Anyone in that crowd, just get out. Alright, so Mario Party 8 and 9. Um, 8 is a really good game. And so is 9. But I'll get to 9 in a bit. Mario Party 8 is basically like the other Mario Party games. Like the GameCube ones. Uh, the DS one. And the Nintendo 64 one. So I'm sure some people would like this one. It's just... Um, I, don't know, I liked some of the... I really liked the boards in this. I remember having like a lot of fun with this with my friends. I mean, obviously it's Mario Party, but still. Uh, actually, let me just put that down. And then 9... Um, okay... I'm gonna say this right now. I like the car mechanic in Mario Party 9. Oh my god! There is someone who likes the car in Mario Party 9 and 10. Oh my god! I'm leaving! Okay. Okay, he left. Whatever. Mario Party 9. Yes, I like the car mechanic in Mario Party 9. Because I like the... Because it makes the, the, um, the boards more chaotic. Because we're like, ooh, what, what would happen if... If um, I move this many spaces, and then on the next turn, oh no, he could get some mini stars. Oh my no! Like it could kind of make the board like more chaotic because you're like, oh crap, this is happening, or oh my god, this is happening. So I like it for that. I mean, I I mean, I wish that the mini games would appear more often, and the captain kind of has an advantage in the boss mini games. But other than that, I like Mario Party Nine. I mean, I like both games. I like all the Mario Party games that I. Played so far, which is 4, 6, 8, 9, and 10, and DS. Alright, next is one of my favorite games on the system. Sonic Colors. Oh my god, this is such a good Sonic game. It's not because, it's not because like, oh my god, you don't like, like, oh my god, no, no, this is Sonic games are great. <sighs> I, I got it. What's with me and <laughs> criticizing fan bases? Anyway, Sonic Colors. This is such a good 3D platformer. So you're Sonic, obviously, and you're just going around with these aliens, well, the Wisps, using using their powers to like traverse the levels, and because you get to go to Dr. Eggman's incredible interstellar amusement amusement park in space, 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 and you know, and if you know me, I love space. So that's another reason why this is. It's actually one of my favorite Sonic games, not because. Of, uh, oh my god, it's one of the best Sonic games. No, it's legit one of my favorite Sonic games. Not based on popular opinion. Alright, next. I get the, oh my god, it's stuck. Help! Go ahead, get off. There we go. Uh, Pinball, Hall of Fame, the Williams Collection. Now, I love Pinball. And I have the Pinball Hall of Fame, the Gottlieb Collection on the PlayStation 2 and the Xbox. So when I found this for five bucks on the Wii, I was like... Hmm, okay, okay. Oh, I like pinball, but how are the motion controls gonna work? Are they even are they gonna be a problem with this game? And it turns out they're not. So thank God for that. So with this one, there's actually way more tables in Williams collection compared to the Hall of, to the Gottlieb collection. So in this one, if I can get my fingers out of the way, we got Black Knight, Firepower, Funhouse, Dorgar, Pinbot, Space Shuttle, Taxi. Whirlwind, Jive Time, and Sorcerer. I don't know which ones are my are my favorite yet, but if you but if you want a better variety of um of uh, pinball tables, or if you like the Williams like Williams, I'd say go for this, or I'd say go for either one. But like any pinball um uh, like compilation is good enough. All right, next is Rayman Origins, which is a game I seriously want to get into because Rayman Legends is such a great game and I never played Origins, so, until, well, until I got the game recently. But, if you like Rayman Legends, you're probably really going to love this game. Just as much as Rayman Legends. It basically plays exactly the same as Rayman Legends, but 
Um, it's just some of the, le- like, I mean, all the levels in Rayman Origins are in Rayman Legends. So, I don't know. Alright, next is Wipe Out the Game. Uh... Whoops, you don't want to know. Hit <laughs> my eagle statue. Eagle! Alright, next, uh, New Super Mario Bros. Wii. It's a game I I just finished yesterday with my friend with my friend Aaron Fazbear and co-op, and and I'm pro- and I think me and Aaron Fazbear if we were ever to do a let's play on this game we'd probably want to be one of the more calmer people doing co-op in this game, cause I don't know if you've seen people online go like throwing their friends into pits, um getting hit by big spiky balls, um dropping <laughs> dropping Yoshi and then dying and just throwing friends into lava or Head power just not working. <laughs> this game is just this game can get just get insane, but it's such a one of the best 3D pla not 3D 2D platformers on the Wii. Just from like its simplicity. I mean, I don't know why people are complaining like, oh, I don't like the new Super Mario Bros. games. They're not as good as the originals. <sighs> well, for me, then I don't think they try to be. They don't try to be as good as the originals. For, well, from my perspective, but I like these games. I know a lot of people are like, oh my god, how dare you throw me into a pit? And it actually took us like five times to beat Bowser for some reason for me and Aaron Fazbear. If the camera could focus, there we go. Alright, next is House of the Dead 2 and 3 Return. So this is one of the only... This is, so this and another game which is coming up are one of the only M-rated games I have from the Wii because there's not a lot. But... House of the Dead 3, um, if you've ever played this, these games in the arcades, it's basically exactly the same here. It's just using a Wii remote. That's it. If you like those games, or if you like rail shooters, or whatever, or zombies, or if you like Sega, you'll probably really like that game. Alright, next is Call of Duty 3. Haven't played it yet. Uh, Nerf and Strike. Uh, I never played this game. I remember watching my brother and my mother play it because... They really like the stuff and this stuff and my mother no not my mother my brother was really into like nerf gun nerf guns so maybe that had something to do with why they like this game so much and security device enclosed it's not enclosed anymore so sucker all right next is space camp it's space camp it's a game about space and guess what. Not only is this game about space, but, uh, it sucks. Okay, but in all seriousness, even if this game, like, taught me stuff about space, which I don't need to, I think this game would even be better. It would be fine, but no. It sucks. Alright, next, let's go into one of my, one of the greatest games that I have on this system. Uh, Super Mario Galaxy. And Super Mario Galaxy 2. Okay, I'm gonna go into like full blown happiness right now. Just as a quick warning, but oh my god, Super Mario Galaxy! I love this game. I love this game so much. I, uh, so a quick story about this. Um, Mario Galaxy was um was a game I got at um Toys R Us back in 2011, back in when Toys R Us was a thing. So for me. Um, my brother, well, there was a 3 for 20 deal at Toys R Us, so, um, my brother got two games, he got Nerf and Strike, and he got Space Camp, and I got Super Mario Galaxy, which is one of the best decisions I have ever made for a game. So, this is a Nintendo Selects version, as you can see, this is actually my original copy from Toys R Us, I still remember the day I got it, and oh my god, this, it, Mario Galaxy is one of my favorite games of all time, along with uh, Mario Odyssey. Those games, those are my favorite Mario games. But, well, one thing is because of space, 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 space. Um, the platform, it, basically, every this game is perfect. Is video game perfection to me. I love this game to death. And then Super Mario Galaxy Two is just as amazing as Super Mario Galaxy. And yeah, it's basically, um. Just like the first game, it's just the levels are a lot more different compared to the first game, which is fine. And uh, and Yoshi was a great addition. Like both these games are like the best games on the Wii. In my well, in my opinion, at least. But 
amazing games. Alright, last game in the second pile is Super Paper Mario. And, um, I know, again, with criticizing all these fan bases, I like Super Paper Mario as well. So, Super Paper Mario is a, uh, RPG, obviously. Why did it even take that long? But Super Paper Mario is actually my first, um, Paper Mario game. Because I don't have Thousand Year Door or the 64 or Sticker Star. But, um... I'm, right now, I'm at Chapter 3 so far, and I like the story, and I like the, um, the, come on, camera, focus. Camera, focus. And I like the 2D or 3D transition stuff. It makes for some cool puzzles, in my opinion. Alright, so now we're at my third and final pile. Alright, here we go. Se uh, last pile. Let me just move these over without making it fall over, please. Alright, so first game in the final stack. The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. And this... Alright, fun fact. This was actually my first Zelda game. Uh, I just got it at, uh, like, over a year ago at, um... My local used game store, Core Gaming. So, um... So I was really curious about it because, like, all the... Like, everyone's saying, like, Zelda is... Like, <laughs> like every Zelda game is the best. Like, Ocarina of Time is the best Zelda game. Link to the Past is the best Zelda game. Uh, <laughs> Majora's Mask is the best Zelda game. Wind Waker is the best Zelda game. Uh, Breath of the Wild is the best Zelda game. Like, like people, people, decide on what the best Zelda game is. I mean, this one's not my favorite. Breath of the Wild is my favorite Zelda game. But Twilight Princess is, like, really close. I don't have this game on the GameCube because it's so much more expensive on GameCube. But I like the wolf stuff. I liked a lot. I liked most of the dungeons in the game, and I just like the sheer epicness and and even some of like the dark stuff about this about Twilight Princess. I mean, I know it was a launch title for the Wii, but then Wii Sports are probably the best um, launch titles on the Wii. Next is Iron Man, a game based on the first Iron Man movie. I haven't played it, and I haven't watched the movie yet. Alright, next is another copy of Super Mario Galaxy in Player's Choice. So, you already know how I feel about Mario Galaxy. So, moving on. Next is Rayman Raving Rabbids. And Rayman Raving Rabbids 2. So, Rayman Raving Rabbids is a game... <laughs> I have not played either one of these games yet, but um, judging by how negatively these the rabbits have affected Rayman... Um, at least Rayman Ray came back. At least you could say that, people. So you can give him the thumbs up for that. So I so from the backs of these, these look like uh, party games, and they look like really fun party games. To be completely honest, I mean, come on, people. I mean, I I can get some of the hatred for the rabbits, like for I don't know for the Rayman franchise. I don't know. I really don't know. All right, next is Anubis the Second. This game also sucks. Okay, people, but in all seriousness, Anubis II is the worst game I own on the Wii. This game sucks beyond belief. If you want to see how much this game sucks, um, I have a Let's Play of this game on my channel. If you really want to wonder, like, how bad this game really is. It sucks, so... Alright, so next is Ultimate Board Game Collection, which is a bunch of classic board games for something... I don't know. I haven't played it yet. Maybe if you're into board games, classic board games, I'm not sure. Alright, next is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Smash Up. And this game is basically like Smash Bros. Like, um, you attack each other. Well, unlike in Smash Bros where you have to knock each other off off of the stage, this one you just have to like, either get in, like, jump into instant death traps or, or whittle your enemy's health down. Yeah, it's basically like Smash Bros. And even has a comic book in it that I never read. In here. It's probably the only reason why people would ever pick that up. Alright, next is Super Smash Bros. Brawl! <laughs> I like this game, people. I can't, I, I like this game. I I don't get it. It's because people, because so many people are in the, are in the melee camp. It's like, oh my god, Mario, why are you tripping? Alright, <laughs> all 
Alright, but uh, Smash Bros. Brawl is, I'd say, one of the best. <laughs> I mean, I've, everyone will say that any Smash game is the best, but. I mean, I think Ultimate's the best, but Brawl is ex excellent. Alright, next is Mad World. There's that M rating again, but Mad World um, is a game by Platinum Games. So, expect like a really stylistic action action beat em up hack and slash game where you're basically this guy named Jack and you're and you're on this game show like this really weird like violent game show and but you basically have to murder every single person in your sight and it's it's really it's basically and it looks like like the Sin City comics like graphic novels but it's a really good game all right next is Epic Mickey and Epic Mickey 2 the power of 2 all right, Epic Mickey. Um, I had this second one like way before I got this one, and I uh, I know people. Uh, I remember getting like a little like a little bit into Epic Mickey too, but then I just stopped because I played the game in co-op with my brother, and he I I feel like he was getting bored of the game because I think we stopped at what chapter two, and then the first game I just started. And the first game is a really good, really good underrated game for the Wii. And I don't know because it's kind of a shame that the th a third game doesn't exist because because the second game flops so hard that it's that it killed its developer. All right, next is another copy of Mario Kart Wii, and that's this another copy of Mario Kart Wii. All right, then Indiana Jones and the Staff of Kings. So this game is a another beat 'em up where you play as Indiana Jones, just doing stuff, you know, whipping this guy and finding treasures. I mean, it's a LucasArts game, so it probably has like some like merit to it. But from what little I played of it, it's it's pretty good. All right, next is Need for Speed Undercover, a game that I seriously use that steering wheel a lot, and for some reason, I would just like fr I would just love free roaming in this game. And really, I didn't really care. I didn't care about the missions at all. I just wanted to explore. Alright, next is Spongebob's Boating Bash. So this game is a... Think of the Twisted Metal games, but with Spongebob. So you, you're just in these boats, and you you fight with the boat. With boatmobiles. So <laughs> that's what you do. You pick your Spongebob character, and you just fight in your boats. And blow everyone up. Alright, then Monster Jam Urban Assault. I don't know anything about this game. So, I don't know. I don't remember playing it a lot. I remember my brother like doing the versus mode a few times between me and him, and that I, w I will admit that mode looks really fun. I want to try that out at some point. Like, uh, oh, get up there, SpongeBob's boating bash. Yeah, I want to try that ski that ski ball mode at some point. All right, next is Sonic Unleashed. I would say this is my second favorite Sonic game in the series. I mean, the PS3 version is a better game, but this Wii version is a good compromise for like the Wii's. Uh, was it limits? But yeah, I'd say it's a. I know that this game is now been getting the res the kind of respect that it deserves, but that's a good that's a good game. All right, next is Ben Ten Protector of Earth. I love the show. I love the show as a child, and I don't know. I, never, I haven't played it yet. All right, next is Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. And, say with me, Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games. <laughs> oh my god, that is a mouthful of, an, of all of a name. So, Mario, the Mario and Sonic games. I mean, I'm sure everyone says that I wish that these games were like crossover platformers. But, I think this is fine for what it is. Um, I haven't played much of the Olympic, win Olympic Games. Or the London 2012 games, but Olympic Winter Games. I love. I really like this one. If you want to know, I have a I have a let's play on this on this game. If you're really curious about it, because I did it for the um, Pyeongchang 2018 Olympics when that was when that was relevant. So I did a let's play on this. I w I think maybe in 2020 I'll do let's plays on maybe either this one or this one at some point. And yeah, I like these games. I mean, I w I mean, I think it would be cooler if they were. If there were platformers, but... Oh, well. Okay, sorry about that, people. So, now let's continue on with the next game. 
uh, Spider-Man Shatter Dimensions, and I haven't played this game yet. I just finished the tutorial, I think, and so far, it seems pretty good so far, because I'm at um, the first Spider-Man Noir section. I mean, I want to get into this game more, because after Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse um, came out recently, I've been really interested about like, the other Spider-Men that are in the comics. So, I don't know. Alright, next is... Come on, oh, can I open it? There we go. Uh, next is Kung Fu Panda in a blockbuster case. And this game is actually not bad for a licensed game. It's a beat-em-up where um, you it goes to the plot of the movie and you just do everything that you possibly can that's from the movie. I might actually do a Let's Play in this game because I remember this game... Um, I just played it recently and... That's actually not that bad, to be completely honest. It's it's not the the greatest thing I've ever played, but I don't think it's trying to be. Alright, so next is another copy of Super Paper Mario. I've already said some thoughts I already said my thoughts about Super Paper Mario, so next is um Mario Strikers Charge, which is probably the most extreme soccer game you will ever play. Cause who needs FIFA when you got Mario Strikers? I mean look at Mario right here. Look at him just kicking this, like, atomic bomb ball. Just everywhere. With all these streaks everywhere. Like, it's a really stylized anime film. Just like Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. And I, I want to get into this because... Judging from how good Mario's track record is with sports games, I'm sure that's still not going to change. Alright, next is Ra Namco Museum Remix. Which is a compilation of Namco games. So, here are all the ones... In this in this game, right here, and then there's a bunch of like remix stuff like Pack and Roll, Galaga. It's basically like it's a little mini game collection. And again, if you're oh well, if you're into pack in, into old school Namco, then I would recommend it. I really like really with any of the Namco museums to be honest. All right, coming down to my last three games. All right, so next is probably the most expensive game. That I own on the Wii, and that's Poke Park 2, Wonders Beyond. And I think this game is supposed to be like a $30, $35 game, for whatever reason, or maybe even higher, I don't know. And it's just, you're just a Pokemon, I think you're just Pikachu, just walking around a park and getting friends, because look at this, look at it, it's the nicest game you'll, you'll probably ever play. I mean, just look at it, it's so nice. And actually, this is my first Pokemon game. Believe it or not, because I don't, I don't want to destroy my wallet getting the other Pokemon games, and I really think that I can get a good copy of one. Oh, was it in the wild? All right, then second to last game is Wario Land. Shake it, which is a really good 2D platformer where you play as Wario and you just go around looking for treasure. Because look at him shaking this enemy around, many, 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 many. Because look at all the money anywhere. Everywhere. Many, 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 many. I get the many, 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 many. I think that's how that reference goes. I'm not sure. But still, look at this. Look at how nice the game looks with its, with the 2D graphics. And the Wario's face with many, 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 many. I'd say that's just like New Super Mario Bros. Wii. That's one of the best 2D platformers on the, on the Wii. Alright, and then the last Wii game that I have is Fortune Street. Which is a... Another party game, like like you've seen over here, I have a lot of party games. But this one, like Pac-Man Party, is like Monopoly, and this one's like way more obvious with the Mario with the Monopoly. So, because you buy properties, and if you get some in a row, you get a, a bonus, and basically you have to make all of your opponents go bankrupt. And yeah, that's how it is. It's it's most Monopoly and Fortune Street. It's Mono it's Mario Party with, um. Mario Party with the board game aspect and Monopoly with all the strategy. So, actually, this is going to fall over. I don't want it to do that. There we go. Alright, so, yeah, I want to get in, get more into Fortune Street. Because that, because from what I've played so far, it looked really interesting. Alright, so that is my entire Wii collection. And get uh, this game that you did not care, that you didn't want to hear about. And then... These two, right here, which I'm going to do something right now. Alright, so anyways, that is my entire Wii collection. Sorry this was a long video, but I'm sorry. So thank you all for watching the video, and please comment, like, and subscribe. 
And next video, I think, is going to be either my PlayStation 3 collection, my PlayStation 4 collection, my, my GameCube collection, my PS3 collection. I think I said PS3 already. My original Xbox or Switch. I don't know. But anyways, shock the world and us, me bros. Goodbye. And you die.